What's up, YouTube? This is Michael Ridge, and I haven't posted in quite a while on my own YouTube channel. I'm so sorry. I'm definitely going to be more consistent with uploading long-form content. If you can't already tell, I'm in a brand new winter structure that I've set up all by myself. Now, to learn how to do that, I went over to Leavenworth, Washington with Colin, who owns Suntime Yurts, and this was his personal yurt. And we broke it down together and while it was still fresh in my mind i hauled it back to where i'm spending the winter and set it up all by myself now this first video is the trip to washington to go pick up the yurt and me and him breaking it down together so i hope you guys enjoy the crown is made up of eight individual pieces so each one of these has a little window that it was pretty cool the way it's designed. It flares at the bottom. So for airflow, I usually just have a long stick and I just push it up. You kind of get it. Interesting. And then I just let it fall through and you might do that with a few of them, you know, to keep it nice and flow. But to get them out, I have to find the, find the right angle for them to come through. And so each one is going to be custom, two okay. notches. And so there'll be corresponding two notches up here. Interesting. They do it different with each one. Sometimes they put them in here. So this one has three. Yeah, so that's number three. And it'll correspond up there. Crown covers, like nobody has a crown cover like ours, which is the, uh, but the best we can do is that clear span vinyl. Yeah. Uh, so and then you secure it by just like tying the four corners down. When it's pulled over, you can't see the stars. You can really tell like they're they're not all perfectly shaped yeah, the same. Right? It's pretty impressive. And this this little microwave dish was up there. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So that's <laughs> okay. A little Value Village microwave dish. And when you're setting this thing up, like you can. Come up here and you can sit right here. Okay. You can even, you know, with respect, kind of like spread your weight out and even move down the yurt if you need to. So maybe you should come up here and look at how this cover, I secured it. Well, I got think, it? I think it might, yeah, I got it. I think it might go. There we go, yeah, nice. <clears throat> This is the main waterproofing layer. Yeah, this works is pretty a good. Product called Vapro Shield. It's vapor permeable, so you can go inside. You can boil water. You can have your wet ski gear in there, drying by the fire, and it'll pat. The vapor will pass through. Yeah. Again. But same thing. You just roll from the edge forward to the door. I see, and yeah, it's off center. It's off center from the door, so. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. They've been different a lot. So sometimes the seams over here, sometimes in the back. I'm not sure what that canvas is going to be. Yeah. Here, give me a sec. Okay. There's that little patch. The, uh, the guys. Uh, the girl's boyfriend sewed this little patch, but he sewed it into the... You need a little knife, huh? So we need to... They still have two sort of halves, but it's... What we kind of did was like build these giant squares. The front goes on top. Think shingle, shingle, shingle. Let's say we free this one. It's already free. Okay. Yeah, I think I can maneuver all this kind of stuff by myself. It's probably just setting the crown that's going to be the toughest part. Yeah. Oh, totally. Yeah. You kind of fold it like that. Yeah. <laughs> right here and roll, roll 
that. Maybe the summer can they sell me. something to just hold that crown. I'll, I'll have help, but I'm kind of stubborn yeah. and I want to be able to, Yeah, totally. I, I want to see if I can do it by myself. Stepped in a little crack, yeah. So, a good technique that we have come to learn is like, anytime you have to like, like, oh God, it's like, it's shifted. You always keep inward pressure on the walls. Because if you pull out, that's gonna release the pressure and then you're gonna have pixie sticks falling. Off. All of these are numbered, huh? Yeah, so eat of the ones across the door. Okay. So the ones we took down will have one, two, three, four, five, and they'll correspond up there. We have gone ahead, which is super helpful, marking rather than so that when you go around the yurt, so that you don't have to count. So see on this lattice? Yeah. We've marked. So that means that these notches go right on the side of that western mark there right and that way you don't have to like always count one two three. this panel has to go here but this panel was always going to be this panel this panel is always going to be that panel okay this is the pattern you're creating to connect two sections of lattice right so they need to mold together and you know they're together because you have pair 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 you know, at the same levels, yep. there's a nice deep overlap. Mm. You got ropes going around the lattice, right? Yeah, so those are the tension lines. And so they, basically that's what's keeping the, the crown and everything pushing in. R okay. Preventing it from, you know, opening up. And so you leave it exterior of the lattice except at the junction. So we'll kind of work the junction in. And the thing, and horsehair is what's keeping these yeah. from, from coming out, huh? Yeah. And so, so to take these apart, we slip the horsehair over. You just take it off the, yeah, off the hook. Okay. The easiest. Um, this one's already coming in. Feeling kind of the tension. So like this one was is nice and tight. So that's kind of nice holding. So if, if I find like just a loose one, or sometimes you can see them already slipping out. These ones are all in pretty good. So that might have just been a weak spot. But we'll keep feeling to make sure the tight ones are still in there because they'll be holding our crown. You see it? In the videos they're just they're aggressive with it they're fast and quick practiced yeah the film is tomorrow night wow Five foot wall? Yeah. Yeah, it's like five, two or so. I think. The door, so that's a good marker. Is this, this is a, like, back to like, this is a nice wall. You kind of want these things to be right about the same height. Okay. A lot of when you're like setting it up and like, you know, we like to, I like to kind of like pull it inward and then like, it's like, okay, and like, shit. You know, and like everyone, you have a couple people they can kind of put a little pressure inward on the wall as you're making the little shifts yeah, that's kind of little techniques part well 
There we go. The harder part is putting them together. Wow. Pretty cool. Like how it is cool. I can't believe how heavy this is. Yeah. Uh, kind of looks like a mess, but uh, it ain't going anywhere. It ain't going anywhere. <laughs> Quite a bundle. It's large. I wonder, I don't think we would have been able to fit it all in the bed of my truck. Probably a good thing I brought a trailer. Thank you, Jeff. Hopefully the horses did not get in the, my belongings. Stayed out of my camp, hopefully. My solar panel's still standing, that's a good sign. A lot of people don't really quite understand that when I go home from wherever we met or have interacted, I come back to a camp. <clears throat> a cozy one. It's not uncomfortable. Just like that, as soon as I get here, I got a call, go pick up some, some deer skins. So go back up over the mountain toward Pendleton. 